Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Jade, and this is my channel, period. So, we're doing a pick a pile. If you chose this one, this is pile number one. The purple one was the middle one, pile number two, and the last one was pile number three. So, let's get right into it. Hello, if you chose this deck, then this is your pick a pile reading. Let's see what spirit wants to tell you, what wants to come out based off you know the energy so far i'm getting that you know my hand is starting to itch y'all could be like um getting into some stuff outside in nature i'm also getting like somebody who likes you know based off this deck darker clothing or darker aesthetic or just really cool things i'm gonna you just have good taste you know? The Hermit. And I was hearing clarification, so maybe you're going within to, to find yourself, to find your inner you know, I'm hearing dreams, wishes, truth, six of pentacles. I'm hearing you could be done, you know, giving to people, begging people for things. Or either you're done giving to people or you're done having to ask. You're like, I'm going to go get my own. I need to figure out how they do it. I need to figure out how I can do it. I need to, you know, like it's like you're starting to learn how to grow and balance your own energy and you're looking very attractive you could i've never really noticed how curvy this girl is before or how beautiful she is but you could look like this girl with like short black hair and like um a nice body blah 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 but you could just look different either way you could be attractive. You got the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so you guys might not see how attractive you are. You might not see how um, creative you are, how smart you are. You just need to really, you know, start your, start your thing. Start your business. Start your podcast. Start your blog. Start your... Go after your dreams and stop being a little, you know, shy or embarrassed or hesitant. It's kind of like, just do you. Do you to the fullest. And don't be giving out your energy to people instead of giving it to yourself. It's kind of like you could be um, doing things for people all day. And you never really do things just for you. Do things that are um, fun for you that you like to do. Like, I'm hearing you, you know, make a TikTok or, you know, grow your social media or some kind of video games or something, I don't know, or some kind of talent. Video games aren't, in my opinion, very productive. But they are fun for if you don't play them for that long. Um... I'm hearing with new space equals new beginnings. So, some of you may have to clear your space. Maybe you need to clear your rooms. Let's see what else wants to come out for pile number one. the empress yeah people definitely find you very attractive um i'm hearing they're alert to you people may give you things you also may be very creative um artistically or fashion or some kind of thing where you express yourself i heard poetry clay painting 
What? I was just getting my second pound of one. I just heard like internal conflict. Y'all could um have multiple different things in your head telling you to do different things, pulling you one way, pulling you this way, pulling you this way, pulling you this way, pulling you this way. And then you're stuck and you're stagnant. You don't know what to do because there's so many options or so many things in your head. And spirit is saying just choose one and go with it all you have to do there's no there's no way to know which one's best there's no right answer when you have this many things to do when you have eight different things going on you really just have to pick one and get it over with and go on to the next um it's saying like projects wise don't be in your head too much just go with it you know just get into the work and um i mean you know push products or maybe you could want to start selling some sort of lip gloss or eyelashes or hair it's saying you could do that you could also sell clothes i'm hearing um you just need to like really get into it Don't give up on yourself. Okay. Hold down, hold down, hold down. Baby, let me hold it down. I'm also getting like a good vibe. The four of wands came out. I'm getting like celebration time. Come on, so maybe you'll have a party because of a completion of a project. One last card for a bundle. This wants to come out. The death card. Getting Scorpio energy. Watch your back, I hear. For a Scorpio. They're gonna be listening. <laughs> they might be there for you for a moment, but they're cold hearted. <laughs> um this person is funny though. Just definitely not be afraid, I'm hearing, but be discerning with what you share with people. You know, you could like always lean on people but maybe not share everything exactly what your projects are yeah it's kind of under this stagnant energy so maybe like do something right off your plate get them to help you I don't know um Oh, that pencil has pencil energy on it. <laughs> it's telling me, like, right. Telling me what to tell you to write, but I don't know. I'm not interested, really. I love you, pen. But I'm channeling. It's beautiful, but. Um. Yeah, it's just saying be careful where you tread. You know, be wa watch where you step. Step forward. Just watch where you step. Don't be so precarious that you don't step at all. I hope you guys liked your reading. If you didn't, it's okay. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. If you made it to the way to the end, obviously you liked it, and you should go hit the like button and the subscribe button, and you should leave a comment. <laughs> bye bye. See you in the next video. Hello. If you chose this middle pile number two, then this is what spirit wants to tell you. Pound number two, okay, definitely getting like moving forward energies or moving forward 
letting go of the past or bubbly or um kind of hyper <laughs> maybe a little bit of a goody two shoes or like somebody who just not good that came out a little wrong um, someone who's enjoys light lighter things in life you know having fun not a super dark person who's always negative you're a positive person who's you know always in a good mood that's not a goody two shoes is not what i meant you could have been a goody two shoes when you're in like school or something i'm just getting that you're really smart you know and you're like really why would these people be this stupid or whatever i don't know but it's like you just get things done i'm here um, yeah, it could be really passionate. Like, you could like the color red. Um, you could like to dance. I mean, this is for some of you. I'm getting like salsa dancing. Or like just kind of like loose dancing. Yeah, people look up to you for some reason. Um, <laughs> I feel like some of you got insulted when I said that. Maybe it's just your aura. Um, I'm hearing people, maybe you're really pretty. I just hear drop dead gorgeous. Um, and it's very fun and a fun time to be around. Like, you never really want to have a bad time. You're like, oh, that's that vibe. It's, it's not with that. Let's. You know, have a good time. And you're just funny. People um, see that you have the world in your hands. You could be living the dream, having a sweet life. I'm hearing sweet life is Zach and Cody. You could, like, just be the kind of person who lays back, watches, you know, their phone, plays with, pays games on their phone, plays on the computer. But you're also looking towards a good future, and you're smart, and you're creating this future, and you're heading towards this future, but you're not stressed about it because you know you have it. You know it's in the bag. I'm hearing it's in the bag. Like, there is no... I'm hearing this is like a Sunday. Your life is like... I don't know. If your life isn't like... If you're not always really in, like, in a good mood, and you're not, you know, always treating yourself to little things and getting yourself treats and you know, I don't know. it's kind of like you know you're the one and you know that it's like you're strong about what you say you mean what you say and people respect you I mean, yeah. popular loner vibes That's crazy. This energy is like, oh, give me pipes. You love people. You're always nice to people. You're not gonna just go around being a main head. You're pretty nice in general, you know. You're always having a smile on your face, and people like you a lot. But you're not gonna get into people's business. You're not super nosy or anything. You're just having a good time, and people love this about you. Uh, people love you. I'm hearing like I don't know why it's just a vibe about you, but. Could also be very attractive. Mm. Or have like a strong jaw, blonde hair. Could be kind of tall as well. Or have brown hair as well. I'm also getting different colors of eyes. You could have any kind of color eyes. But spirits supporting you and they're pushing you forward. You could work out or have some kind of routine that's really helping you every day to move forward and just pushing you. Um spirit is proud i'm hearing the universe is proud you are proud i'm hearing you know child of god or whatever god is proud of his children out here in the street but yeah you're planting seeds um lifelong seeds and i don't think you're stressed you know you're the kind of person who takes things not to heart you take things and you're like you know what you know, i'm hearing you make dumb lemons into lemonade and you don't even care you don't even think about it you're like Mm -hmm. it sounds good <laughs> yeah you're really um you're really forgiving towards yourself and others and i'm hearing sometimes not but because you protect your energy but you're very like i'm hearing also you could heal fast but and i have a lot of people that love you and cherish you
You drink a lot of water because I'm getting thirsty. Thirsty. <clears throat> but. Yeah. I'm hearing paradise, you know, and luxury. Technology. You might really like technology. Board games. Okay, that's all I got for you. Get that pile number two. Okay, <laughs> ice cream. Alright, oh, and I heard Harry Potter. Hi, if you chose pile number three, this pile, then this is your reading. So, let's see. What does spirit want to say to pile number three? I'm getting someone who dream journals, journals in general, rides, reads. You could or could not do that. a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or somebody who is firm with their boundaries, you could be kind of I'm here, quick or sharp tongued, um, or just very wise, or I'm hearing like, be a father figure, I don't know, or you could have a pet, <laughs> anyway, let's go on. I usually don't Take reverses. Let me take that first. You could be too overthinking in here and too in your head. You might think, oh, this and this and this, oh. Or this person, oh yeah, okay. It could be a little insecure, or like you're making things. I'm hearing you're making a mountain out of a molehill, or you're you're having illusions in your head. You're turning something into something that's not. <laughs> yeah, definitely getting father figure vibes here. Um, wouldn't be surprised if there was or dad watching this. Um. It's kind of like you just need to loosen up, chill, you know, go with more of your creative side and you lead with your heart because right now it's like you kind of, um, being a little assertive or a little jumpy, a little skittish, I don't know, just a little, yeah, you need love. It's like the solution here is love. If you ever watch Frozen, you know, Elsa's all worried. She's like, oh my God, I made everything worse. How do I stop making it worse? How do I stop making it worse? And she just keeps freaking out and making everything worse. But when she's like, actually like, talks to her friend and she's like, I love you. I'm sorry. Um, I always loved you. I'm sorry I stopped talking to you. You know, that's when the ice melted and it's like, use your love. Use your words I'm hearing in a good way, not in a cold way. And not in a fake way I'm hearing. Don't try to be all giddish about it. I don't know, like. Yeah, really look in and say, what do I really feel? How? What is the truth? How can I really make this better? And what is the best way to really handle this situation? Because you could just be very overwhelmed. Like when something hits you, you just fall. Or like, I'm hearing like, when you hit a man when he's down, you know, you could be tired, be in a bad mood, just um use your heart not your head not your mood yeah it's kind of like there could be um you could be balancing a lot right now you know finances life dogs um kids whatever you could feel like you're a little overwhelmed but it's saying just you can do it you anybody can do it you can do it is what i'm hearing and there's people who are looking up to you right now. So keep a cool head. And especially if you're a parent figure, just try to keep a positive mind and not freak yourself out. Because really, however you perceive this situation, 
whatever is going on is your reality and right you want to water your cup you want to fill you want to make sure that at the end of the day you don't damage your relationships and burn bridges bridges just because you were overwhelmed you know what i mean so i hope this hit for somebody i don't know um but it's saying like just leave the past in the past you know things don't always yeah you kind of have to be patient with yourself and others and just especially others i'm hearing be patient with them Take some deep breaths. Really just go to a place of happiness inside. And then remember why you love these people. Okay? Goodbye. Hope you guys liked it.